Good evening, everyone. I am Douglas Stewart, and I am the author of Shuggy Bane. And I'm going to read you from the beginning of the book, where we first meet uh, the proud, vain, beautiful, but calamitous mother that's at the heart of the story. Agnes Bain pushed her toes into the carpet and leaned out as far as she could into the night air. The damp wind kissed her flushed neck and pushed down inside her dress. It felt like a stranger's hand, a sign of living, a reminder of life. With a flick, she watched her cigarette doubt fall, the glowing embers dancing 16 floors down onto the dark forecourt. She wanted to show the city this claret velvet dress. She wanted to feel a little envy from strangers, to dance with men who held her proud and close. Mostly, she wanted to take a good drink, to live a little. With a stretch of her calves, she leaned her hip bone on the window frame and let go of the ballast of her toes. Her body tipped down towards the amber city lights and her cheeks flushed with blood. She reached her arms out to the lights and for a brief moment she was flying, but no one noticed the flying woman. She thought about tilting further then, dared herself to do it, how easy it would be to kid herself that she was flying until it became only falling and she broke herself on the concrete below. The high-rise flat she still shared with her mother and father pressed in against her. Everything in the room behind her felt so small, so low-ceilinged and stifling, payday to mass day, a life bought on tick, with nothing that ever felt owned outright. To be 39 and have her husband and her three children, two of them nearly grown, all crammed together in her mammy's flat, gave her a feeling of failure. Him, her man, who when he shared her bed now seemed to lie on the very edge, made her feel angry with the littered promises of better things. Agnes wanted to put her foot through it all or to scrape it back like it was spoiled wallpaper, to get her nail under it, and to rip it all away. Thank you.